What's up? Welcome back to GM Trade Channel. He's new here. Karibu sana. Bahati and his wife, Diana Marwa, allegedly held a lavish traditional wedding over the weekend. In photos leaked on Edgar Obare's page, the two were dressed in matching Bitenge outfits. Despite the photos reeking, the couple is yet to confirm if they indeed held the traditional wedding. This comes ahead of the highly anticipated white wedding that is scheduled to be held on December 12th, that is on Jamuhuri Day. Bahati promised to give Diana her dream wedding after he proposed for the second time. The singer arranged a surprise picnic beside a rake. If you are a close followers of the Bahatis, you know that these two are celebrating their seventh anniversary and they have billboards all over. One billboard is mounted along the highway, has a lovely photos of Bahati and Diana and the words happy seventh anniversary. A week later, Bahati shared how she met his lovely wife Diana Marua. The mama hit maker revealed he met Diana in 2016 while looking for a video vixen to feature in his Mapenzi song. The singer took on a memory reign, reminiscing the first day he met Diana, who was popular in the social cycle back then. He said he was looking for a beautiful woman to feature in his first love song and he had media personality Tracy Wajiro in mind, but she turned down his request. As the wedding preparation is going on, Bahati has received backlash from Kenyans on Twitter. This comes after Bahati decided to embark on a waxing adventure with his lovely wife, Diana Marua, all in the name of quality control. On the photo, which is doing loud, Bahati is seen scratching the glass on his end, probably wondering what he had ordered. Diana said she would like Bahati save her from the treacherous journey. Bahati had claimed earlier that Diana denies him conjugal rights, while Diana said it only happens for a week when the husband come home late. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this particular thing and don't forget to like.